Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Keurig K-Iced. All right, the Keurig K-Iced, let's get right into it. But before we do, I just wanna say, it's been quite some time since I made a post. Um, I usually do these videos in batches and let a couple of months go by, but uh, more time went by than expected. I think my last post was like seven or eight months ago. But having said that, um, the channel's been growing. I didn't lose any traffic. In fact, I got more traffic. I've gained more subscribers. So I just want to take this time right now to say thank you to everyone who's watching this. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed. Um, you know, I know I haven't been active on this channel. I do apologize for that. Yeah, this is more of a hobby. But seeing that it's growing, uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to get into it more. So just a quick thank you. Now we'll get into the video. Okay, I guess I'll start off with the features. Um, we have options for 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce cups. We also have a strong brew option for when you want a more bold cup. And for when making iced coffee, we have that option all the way up at the top as well. For when the water reservoir is almost depleted, we have an add water indicator. And when it's time to descale it, we have that as well. I don't know how well you can see those two, but those, those lights would light up for when you need to add water or descale it. In the back of the unit, I'm just going to turn this around on its side so you can see. We have the removable 42 ounce reservoir. And this is where you'll be adding the water. It just pops right in, you got the lid. And at the base of the unit, we have a removable drip tray. And also, I forgot to mention the price. As I record this, early January 2024, I checked on Amazon and the price is $79. Now that's for the gray. Um, other color options will either run you higher or lower, but for the gray, expect to pay around 79 bucks. I think the white was like 100, and I don't know if I saw a black option, but I know the white was more money. But once again, that's at the time of this recording, uh, which is early January 2024. All right, we're gonna make some coffee. Let's start out with iced. Let's fill this up all the way to the max line. Already filled up this cup with ice. Uh, and by the way, from the base to the spout at six and a half inches. If you remove the drip tray, I don't know if I showed that part, this does remove. It buys you another inch. So you get about seven and a half inches without it, and six and a half if you have the tray in place. Uh, we'll lift this up, put it in a pot. Oh, this is empty. I, think I, I used the last one drum testing. Oh. All right, take one of these Keurig pods, and place it in here like so, push it down. First, we're gonna select the brew over ice button. And then we're going to select the cup size. I found the sweet spot with this is 10 ounces. If you want a stronger cup, 8 will do. But 10 is fine. 10 worked just fine for me. So we'll select 10. And we're going to time it as well. And that took about a minute and a half. And apologies if I sound a little stuffed up. I'm getting over a cold. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to put a splash of half and half. And that's your iced coffee. That's 10 ounces. Let's see. You know, drawing testing, it was fine, and yeah, that's strong enough, 10 ounces, even 12 ounces, you'll get flavor. At first, I didn't think I would, but, because usually with iced coffee, you have to, like, do double the amount, so you get a good flavor, but, hey, this does it just fine. 
So that's how you do iced coffee. Next I'm going to show just a regular cup of uh, hot coffee because this does both, both ice and hot. Same procedure. First we're going to remove this. You can't reuse these by the way. You can only get one shot out of these. Just going to put in another one. <clears throat> Close the lid, put our cup down, and you would just select the ounce size you want, and it'll automatically stop brewing. With the older models, you would select the ounce size, and you would hit a button on top. With this, you just hit, once you hit it, it's going to stop brewing. We're going to go with 10. And I was debating whether to use the strong option, because I didn't time that. Uh, you know what, let's do it. How do you do that? Let's just hit strong first, and then we'll hit 10, see what happens, and then we're going to time it. Okay, 10, ounce, 10 ounces with the strong brew feature took just a little under two minutes. Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> my throat's sore too. Once again, I apologize, folks, if my voice sounds scratchy. Maybe I should have waited a couple of days before I did this. But I had the itch again to film. It's been a while. It's been months. All right, yeah, I got like 165 drawing testing, so that's just pushing 164. Pretty good. Once again, I'll add a drop of half and half so you guys get an idea of strength. Just a little bit. I'm a bit rusty. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that hot. Perfect. That feels good, actually. <clears throat> Hitting my throat. So let's do one more. Yeah, very good. All right, guys, that's going to be the video. I'm just going to cut it a little short. Uh, that's how you use the unit. It's the Cure Egg K-Iced, single-serve coffee maker. I hope this video was helpful for anyone who's interested in getting this unit. Once again, I want to thank everyone for watching and keeping this channel alive while I was out for all these months. I haven't been posting. Um, please subscribe. Please shoot me a comment down below. I love reading your feedback. And I'll catch you in my next one.